<coughs> walking the Malvern Hills. Oh, my breath. I haven't done this for a while. That's an easier one, the Licky Hills. Notice the difference when you come up here. <coughs> I think my sister would give up on the 99 steps because she's down there somewhere. And she's younger than me as well. <coughs> I was about to say Lick Hills then. <laughs> Northern Hills. Oh, it's cold today. It's about six degrees. Very cold for the beginning of April, I think it is. It was April tomorrow. Uh, end of March, so end of March. <coughs> I'm so glad it's light in the Malvern Hills. Last couple of times I've been here, it's been dark. Because it is gone half five now, it's about quarter six. So I can't stay here too long because the buzz is getting back. <sighs> I was going to meet up with a guy in Starbridge, but look, I didn't meet up with him because he sounds a bit crazy to be honest. <laughs> he wanted to book my shirt and then he says, he also talks about strangling me until I pass out. <coughs> and then he talks about uh, putting a bag over my head and making me pass out. And I says, what if I, I, says, what if I don't wake up? And he says, he'd make me. He says, punch me in the chest or, put, or punch me in the balls. Uh, I didn't meet up with him. Uh, nah, I thought, thought it was too dangerous. He wants me to, because I said I'd only meet him somewhere public. And, like, and he suggested Costas. And then he says, he could meet me at the train station and take me somewhere secluded. So he, he, can, he can tell me the rules kind of thing. And I thought, yeah, but I prefer to meet him somewhere public. So, I don't know so what's happening with him. Uh, Ian's coming up to Leeds on Friday, which is tomorrow. Uh, and I think he wants me to be there because he's asked Lee, he's asked Lee, can I be there kind of thing. But only if I don't. He says only if it doesn't stress me out. What he means is, only if I don't kick off. <laughs> I don't kick off. And it's true, I do get stressed out. So. Whew. I'm going to drop there in a minute, really steep. I'm going to be seriously out of breath in a second. Because I'm going to go up somewhere really steep. So. Dogs are at home, probably munching food because I give them a tin of dog food when I leave, and obviously water and everything. Um, and I'll give them another tin when I get back, which I don't always eat. Mind you, when I, when I get up in the morning, all the food's usually gone, so I think they eat during the night, I think. first tin usually disappears quite quickly. It's the second tin that they don't eat so fast. But they don't like biscuits. They turn their nose up at biscuits. There seem to be anyway. They're not cheap biscuits either. Purina I think. Purina or something like that. Some of that. I'm panting away for like a train. 
steaming ahead. So far, I haven't been able to avoid microplastics because it's in my milk. But I have managed to purchase a long life carton which doesn't have any plastic on it, it's cardboard. Well, some kind of cardboard. Probably still, probably still has a tiny bit of plastic in there. I think everything does, to be honest. It's going to be almost impossible to avoid completely. So even in the air with me. Trouble is, when it gets into your circulation system, that goes all around your body, doesn't it? Once it goes into your blood, and it has been found in blood, in human blood, uh, that's why I'm going to go. Once it's gone into the blood, it's probably very hard to get out again. <sighs> Only the kidneys can flush it out, I think. I think that's more the kidneys. But that means it would go, that means it would have to go for the kidneys to be flushed out, which means there's a potential of it damaging the kidneys. Maybe not now, because there's not much in blood at the moment, but obviously. Obviously, plastic's not going to go anywhere any anytime soon, is it? Because because of money, it's a cheap way to store things. I think he's putting plastic because it's a cheap way to make stuff. If things were put in glass, if things were put in, you know, I think years ago they used to. Use, oh, it's trying to snap. I think years ago they used to use paper and glass to store things, um, but on a mass scale. I can see that plastic would be a better option, but for production anyway. But the problem is, it eventually gets into the bloodstream, which can cause problems later in life, I would imagine. And that means everyone on the entire planet is consuming it. Almost everyone. Oh, gosh. I'm losing my socks. <sighs> yes, I have nail varnish on my jeans. Yep, you see that? to go back and go a different way. No, 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 no. I want to carry on. I could do a bit more, God. I could do a stack or something to help me off the stick. Anyway, I want to get past this snow. Keep close to the ground when you're doing these kind of fields. Thank you at the time. 